Here's the SQ8 sequencer from Analog Solutions which features both gate and CV sequencing. I create a patch highlighting all the features and then use the modular audio rate and also for some filter sequencing as well. I'll take you through the features of the Analog Solutions SQ8 gate and CV sequencer. I'll be using the Telemark filter LFO2 and MT9 MIDI to trigger or from Analog Solutions to build up some patches. Here's the CV output from the SQ8 going into an attenuator which is then going into my quantizer and then on from there into my oscillator. You can see here I'm on step 8 and if I turn that up you can hear I've got a one octave range going into my quantizer. We've got a switch for CV range and if I flick that to high it doubles the CV output range so for this particular patch that one octave range turns to two octaves when the CV range switches high. step button which is a really useful feature for moving through the steps manually and setting up your sequence. Taking a basic clock from the MT9 MIDI to trigger the sequencer will step through. clock through output which is useful for clocking other sequences, tempo based effects or LFOs without the need for multiples or splitter cables and there's also a step one output which I'll use to create an accent in the pattern at the start of each cycle of the sequence. There's also a reset input which I'll come to later on and the step button will also hold a step as you hold the button regardless of an incoming clock. Using a different trigger sequence I've got a rhythmic pulse pattern so that's now moving the pattern which isn't musically going to line up with each bar so I'm going to use the reset at the start of each bar to keep the rhythmic sequence in time. I'm using the accent output from the NT9 which is set up in my DAW. Taking this one step further you can hear the pitch sequence. I've got the sound going through the TMF Telemark filter so turning down the cutoff I'm going to use the gate output on the SQ8 to trigger an envelope and then use that envelope to modulate the filter. Because this is a CV and a gate sequencer we can create a gate sequence as well. These knobs are push-pull so pulling these knobs you can use that to turn the gates on and off. Add some LFO2 modulation to the filter as well as the envelopes and the LFO2's got a handy level control for the output. Taking steps 6 and 7 out of the gate sequence we can create different filter movement. While this is playing, I'll patch up a simple noise hit which I'll use the step 1 output to accent the start of the sequence. So now you can hear that noise triggering from that step 1 output. The step 1 output is triggering an envelope which is used to open up a VCA that's got noise at the input. So this noise hit is just simply accenting step 1 and the start of each cycle. Essentially the step 1 output is also a divide by 8 output which makes it useful for any clock manipulation, logic or just clocking other sources 8 times slower than the SQ8's movement. So now I've gone through all the features in the previous patch, here's using the sequencer at audio rate to create some custom pulse wave shapes. I'm 
I'm using an oscillator square wave or audio rate to clock the SQ8. And at the minute this is producing a square waves as steps 1, 3, 5 and 7 are high and steps 2, 4, 6 and 8 are low. Playing around with the steps we can create some custom pulse based wave shapes. The CV range switch here will act as a volume boost as it selects the CV output range. This works really well with a filter as you can drive that filter input harder or soften it by taking the CV range down. As we've got the gate output we can also create a second pulse bass waveform by pulling out some of the knobs to create a gate sequence and this audio rate gate sequence will have a different sound to the CV output. So I'll take both the gate output and the CV output from the SQ8 and create a crossfading patch between the two audio rate sequences generated from the SQ8. So what you're hearing now is the gate output and the CV output being crossfaded. Taking the gate out you can hear that fade to nothing and taking the CV output you can hear it fade to nothing as well. So I'm going to create some custom waveforms using both the gates and CVs. With a sample and hold sent to the pitch of the oscillator providing the audio rate clock, I'll then play around with the gates and CV outputs to, cre to create some custom waveforms that are going to crossfade between each other. Here I have a simple patch which is a kick drum and a sidechain bass line. I'm going to use the SQ8 for some filter sequencing. I have the Telemark filter set up on the bass and here's some sequencer movement on that filter. So it's really easy to create a moving pattern on the filter as well as a slower pitch bass sequence in this patch. Here's using the lower CV range. And then I'll change the Telemark's output from high pass to low pass. So that's the SQ8 gate and CV sequencer from Analog Solutions, a nicely featured pattern module with useful additions such as the step button, step one output, range switch and clock through output.